Wonderful! This area hasn't been touched by plunderers yet! That box! What an amazing find! What if it contains the game of... <coughs> Professor! Professor! Just hang in there! That has to be the Yami no puzzle. <coughs> the door of darkness has been opened. It's game time. B-ball time! Yo, let's wait for the girls. Hey, Yugi! Why don't you come out and play? It beats sitting alone all the time. Huh? No, I'm fine. Whatever team I'm on, I'd make them lose. Oh yeah, that's true. Alright, come on, guys! <sighs> I wish I could play games with everyone sometimes. I always bring lots of games with me to school to share, too. Oh yeah! I wonder if I can finish it today. <laughs> I always have it with me. This is my treasure. Not the box itself, but what's inside. But that's a secret. Well, okay, here's a hint. Here, inside of this box, is something you can see, but haven't seen before. So, do you know? The correct answer is... Huh? Junichi? Yuki, why are you talking to yourself? Something you can see but you haven't seen before? What is this crap? Ah! Uh, please give it back! Give it back! <gasps> Keeping yourself and treasure in some old box. You know what, Yugi? I absolutely can't stand that about you. I mean, it pisses me off more than anything you could ever imagine. So I decided to teach you how a man should act. Come on, you want this box back, right? Come at me with full force and take it! I can't stand fighting or any kind of violence! Ah! You sure are loud for such a small fry, Yugi. Well, just give the box back to me already. That's right. Cut it out, Jinochi. Oh! Did you have something to say, Mr. Ran for class president and didn't win so he's now solo member of the cleanup club? Don't be so insulting. It's Beautification Club. Jeez, why is everyone so loud? True, I failed to become the class president, but that opened up new opportunities. For example, I was able to start the Beautification Club, which has no doubt made me into a better man. So tell me, Yuki, what actually is inside the box? You can peek if you want, just please be careful with it. It's old and very important to me. Hey! Listen when someone's talking to you! Pretty boring. Why treasure this thing? Masaki? Hey. Anzu! If you're bored with it, then it's time to return it to Yugi. Can you really not think of anything better to do than bullying? Hey, you got it all wrong! I'm no bully. Yugi annoys me, so I was teaching him how to be a man. Shut up! Uh. <gasps> uh. Miho! Sorry, I was yelling at these two idiots, not you. It's okay. I was just surprised. We have way too many students at this school. I haven't been able to buy lunch. What? No way. I I'll run now and get it for you. Hold up, I'll come too, Honda. Ugh, what idiots. Men. Damn, I can't stand that girl. Miho didn't do anything. I'm not talking about Miho no Saka. It's an Anzu Maski bitch calling me a bully. She needs to mind her own damn business. <laughs> uh, I... Excuse me, did I hear something about bullying? So what if you did? It's not- Uh, it's, it's nothing serious, so don't worry about it. I see. Bullying isn't exactly something to take lightly. Right, we understand. Oh, and one more thing. Your uniform should be buttoned while you're at school. Uh, of course. Yeah, right. <coughs> you trying to kill me, Honda? Hey, do you have any idea who that guy was? Huh? That's Ushio, public morals guy. He's the one who made all the rules for this school. It's quite impressive. <laughs> I'm sure. And I don't see the point to most of his rules either. That was cool. Anzu, 
The guys really are afraid of you, aren't they? Yeah, well, if I didn't act tough, they would walk all over me like they do to you. You're gonna have to learn to stand up for yourself every now and then. Yeah, you might be right, but... Junichi isn't that bad. Uh, you can't be serious. It's saying things like that that make you easy prey. Oh. By the way, what is this? Oh, that's right. You haven't seen it yet, have you? Allow me to share my secret with you. Yeah, that's pretty. Are these parts to something? They're just scattered. It's a puzzle. I've never finished it, so I don't know what shape it's supposed to be yet. Therefore, it's something that you can see, but haven't seen before. My house is actually a game shop, so we have games and knickknacks from all over the world. This puzzle, it was found in one of the ruins of ancient Egypt, so it's extremely rare. Look, it has these weird marks carved all over it. I can't be sure, but I think what they say is something like, Whosoever is able to solve this puzzle will have their dearest wish granted before their eyes. <laughs> I've told you way too much now. <sighs> you think I'm dumb now, don't you? I can tell. <laughs> Not at all. So, what did you wish for? No way! I'll never, ever, 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 ever tell anyone that! Huh? What's that? I took this thing from Yugi's box when I had it back in the classroom. I only got a glance, but I know what I saw. Yugi's treasure is obviously some kind of puzzle. You know what that means? You take away this one little piece, and it will never be whole. Jinochi, you've always been hopeless. But this is a new low for you. Why don't you try listening to your brain every once in a while? Weren't you supposed to be buying bento for someone, Honda? Huh? Ugh! I'm so hungry! Well, I'm coming. Yeah. How can that thing be a treasure? He's such a child, that Yugi. He really pisses me off. One! We're serving for the purpose of protecting the rules! Skus! 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 Two! We're fighting for the purpose of protecting justice! Hello! 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 Public moral guys. I'll just stay out of their way. You, hold on a second. You're Yuki Moto, aren't you? Yes? There's something I want to talk to you about. You're having problems with other students bullying you, right? Huh? No. Nothing like that has ever happened to me. Now hold on. Of course a good kid like you would say that. I'll have to properly investigate this myself. Yuki, I've decided that you don't have to worry. Starting today, I, Ushio, will be acting as your personal bodyguard. Huh? But I really haven't experienced anything like that at school. I need to go. What was that? What a weird guy. Yugi, with me, Ushio, by your side. Your student life will be all sunshine and daisies. I'm home! <gasps> Anzu! <laughs> It's been so long since I came to visit. What took you so long, Yugi? I'm home, Grandpa. And Anzu, you've grown so much since the last time I saw you. Most importantly, your boobs have grown. Isn't that nice? <laughs> What's with this old man? By the way, Yugi, I was just talking with Anzu. She tells me that you haven't given up on that puzzle yet. Grandpa, why would I give up? That puzzle's beyond human understanding. You can't do it. And by the way, it already has an interesting history just since being excavated. A history? Huh? The Millennium Puzzle was found by the excavation team in a giant valley. They brought it back in the Pharaoh's box. Soon after, every one of the men that were involved died of unknown causes. The previous owner left it here because he was afraid of sharing their fate. The Game of Darkness. Yugi, it sounds like your puzzle's dangerous. The Game of Darkness? That sounds cool. What is it? Look here. Do you see these hieroglyphics? They say the one who saws me will receive my dark knowledge and power. So that's what they mean. 
Then my wish really will come true. I'm excited. I have to finish it now. Return it, Yugi. It's a treasure after all. You're just thinking of money. No way! No, it gets blocked if I put it like that. He's still at it. It's been eight years since he started working on it. That boy doesn't give up. He really is my grandson. But it's said that the person who solves the Millennium Puzzle will receive the dark power of the Game of Darkness. Maybe it's for the best that he never finishes it. I'm sure you'll be pleased. <gasps> Pain. Junichi! Honda! What happened? What do you think, Yugi? What do you mean? I've already told you. I, Ushio, will be acting as your bodyguard from now on. That is why I've been punishing these two bullies. What? Ushio, this is horrible! Are you okay? Junichi! Honda! <laughs> you scum. I hope you're happy. No, Junichi! D do you really think that I would ask for this? Step aside, Yugi. It's time for round two. You didn't think we were done yet, did you? <coughs> <gasps> Stop it! Cut it out! Now! You're actually defending these guys. You're an odd one. Go ahead. Now's your chance to get revenge. Punch them. Kick them. I could never do that to them because we're friends! W we're friends? <laughs> You're one of a kind. Did you say friends? These bullies have exploited your passive-aggressive personality. But they weren't bullying me! Junichi was just teaching me how to be a real man! Man, you're a complete weirdo. But have it your way. Regardless, it's time for you to pay us. Our service today will cost you 20,000 yen. 20,000 yen?! What do I do? 20,000 yen? I don't have it. Grandpa doesn't give me that kind of allowance. And why am I working on a puzzle at a time like this? Huh? I am doing better than normal. It's weird, I, I feel terrible and... I feel like I'm finally going to solve the puzzle tonight. This is awesome! There. Maybe... Maybe... <gasps> I did it! I solved it! I solved the puzzle! I just need to put the last piece in and it's all done! Oh? What? It's not in here. No way! It's just like I said. We don't know what he secretly thinks about. <laughs> I was the one who said that. Is that so? Still true either way. As a member of the Beautification Club... Are you even listen- Ugh. Without that piece, the puzzle can't be finished! I'll never be able to get my wish! Please let it be at school! Yo, Yugi. Ushio! You already brought the 20,000 yen bodyguard fee? Very good! No, I'm just here! I, I can't find- I, I, I forgot something, so I came to get it back! Anyway, I, I can't. Then I guess I, Ushio, need to teach you a lesson. Uh... Ah, here it is! I finally found it! Uh. As a member of the Beautification Club, I often handle unsanitary things. By the way, you owe me a new towel. Buy it yourself, cheapskate! Ushio. A 
that's enough for today. Tomorrow we'll have a review over everything you just learned. Hey! Well, look at that. It's the boss. Uh. Yugi, hey! Just hang in there, bud. I wished for true friends on the puzzle. Ushio, I respected you up until now. But you know what? I just can't let this stand. Really? You think fighting me two-on-one will help you win? <laughs> <laughs> So, it's game time. Uh, what is this? Damn you, Yugi! Yugi! Yo, Ushia. I have what you want right here. What? You have my money? <laughs> you brought it after all. If you had said so, I would have had to teach you a lesson. Now hurry up and hand it over! Just handing it over would be exceedingly boring. So why don't you play a game with me? Huh? A game? But not an ordinary game. It's a game of darkness. Ha! <laughs> Sounds interesting! I, Ushio, have never lost a game in my life! I accept, Yugi! That's very impressive, Ushio. <laughs> Ah! Now here we go. The rules are simple. On their turn, the player flips over a card and moves up by its value. This causes the other player to slide down. The player that makes it to the top is the victor, and they receive the prize. Alright, got it. I'll be taking my first turn. Ten of diamonds. <laughs> How's that, Yugi? Hope you are ready for this. I also got a 10. No way! Two of spades! I'm catching up to you! Can't let that happen. Queen of spades. What the hell? Yeah! Three of diamonds! Nine of hearts. Six of clubs! Jack of spades. Ugh. What's wrong, Ushio? Are you out of options? Oh look, I'm just one step away from winning. SHUT UP! I'll turn this router the next card I draw! JOKER! WHAT IS THIS?! That's too bad, Ushio. The Joker is a miss. Now it's my turn. DON'T MATCH WITH ME, YUGI! THIS GAME WAS FIXED FROM THE START! It's an ace. Victory is mine. SHUT UP! Cheating. If you break the rules, you'll find that something terrible awaits you. ENOUGH! I knew that it would eventually come to you cheating, Ushio. FALL! <laughs> I WON! <laughs> WHAT?! This isn't money! The door of darkness has been opened. WHAT?! The game of darkness shows a person's true character. You will be swallowed by your own greed. Ha! <laughs> what am I worried about? It's just water! <laughs> it's Ushio! Ushio, are you okay? Monsters! <sighs> Come on, get him off! <sighs> 
Monsters! <laughs> Have you heard? You mean about Ushio? His shock was so bad that he had to be hospitalized. Yo, Yugi! Ah, good morning, Junichi. You know, I followed your example and got myself a treasure. Wanna see? Yeah! <laughs> Too bad. The thing about my treasure is, it's something you can see but can't be seen. It's impossible to show. Man, what the hell is wrong with me today? So, you can't see it, but... My treasure is friendship. We can see it in each other, but you can't see friendship itself, right? <gasps> right! What is with me today? I'm spouting all these lame lines. Uh, I gotta go. Class is starting. Wait! Junichi, you dropped your shoe! A dangerous criminal known as Tasaki Tetsu, the master of disguise, escapes from prison and scares the whole town! Meanwhile, a burger world opens up, and Anzu begins acting strange. So Honda and Mio follow her, and then they start acting strange too! All this next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! Season Zero, The Trap of Hell.